So Jason wanted me to talk about this. He was like, Diva, the Sonic movie. Diva, the Sonic movie. Like, everyone's talking about the Sonic movie. So I was one of the people that saw the trailer and I was horrified, but I did not have the reaction like everyone else had. And and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there was an original trailer where they made Sonic and Sonic looked like shit. The reason why I wasn't shocked was because there were leaks that were coming out. There was a movie poster that came out. All these hints and clues of what Sonic was going to look like. And everybody, I feel like, lived in La La Land. And was like, oh, well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. It could be, it could be Photoshop. It could be Photoshop. Some of it was Photoshop. But the ones that weren't Photoshop, we did find out that it turned out to be true. That those were legitimate images. And I felt like those were legitimate images. So, when I saw the leaks, I was kind of, I, I was already there i was already there i was already prepared also i come from the generation of the super mario movie if you saw that movie you would remember how bad that was and there has been a lot of bad video games movies so again i'm coming from that generation of knowing that it's a video game movie it's gonna be bad especially if it's something that the fans love and cherish it's i i just assumed it was going to be that. Like, I just did not emotionally care. Because, like, with a lot of things, like, for example, Tea Times Go, the new Powerpuff Girls. Like, there's just a, like, the, like uh, there's, like, this new Scooby-Doo show where they literally look like they're on acid. Like, it's just a lot of weird shit going on when it comes to, you know, rebooting and revamping things. So, it's just kind of like one of those things where, you know, I erased it from my mind and you know i just you know i was just like it is what it is it's not for me it's for the kids well the internet didn't do that the internet trashed this trashed the, uh, the old sonic design trashed it and a lot of people were like y'all need to fix this y'all need to fix this y'all need to fix this i felt like they weren't gonna fix it because one i felt like and some of it did come to fruition that Sonic um, had um, deals with the shoes. So he was wearing Nike shoes in the original one. So I felt like there was a deal with the shoes, which he's not wearing those shoes anymore. So he might later on in the movie, but um, in the new trailer, we don't see him in those shoes. And they were Nikes. So I was like, there's too many brand deals involved. They can't change it. Also, um, I learned about CGI and things like that, that like when you're dealing with a CGI character, you have to fit the scenes to have this character to have a certain proportion. If you do not have, if the character is higher or lower than the proportion that you have is set with the green screen or your technology, your image is going to go through the car. It's going to go through the actor. It's just going to be very, very sloppy. Like it has to be a perfect one for one and i felt like this shit was so bad that there was no they would have they would possibly have to reshoot scenes where it was very detailed of where the actors need to be or where the actors need to look down and things like that so i'm like first of all you're gonna have to reshoot some scenes secondly you're gonna have to redesign this thing thirdly you're gonna have to remodel all of the things because like i felt like the old model couldn't get used if you look at the before and after like there's a lot of there's huge differences like right here you see that sonic has gloves but previously he didn't have gloves and then his eyes are different his nose is different like the hairs the fur is different the only fur that's the same is his arms but that doesn't really bother me but they had to do like extreme stuff so they said that okay we're gonna fix it so when i heard they were gonna fix it i was like okay you're not gonna be able to fix it by november and I got in huge arguments with people about it. And then they admitted that they had to push it back to February. Which I was like, okay. So I was right about that. So now the movie's out. Before the movie came out, the actual team that made the model of Sonic, that um, studio is gone. It filed for bankruptcy. Like, it's gone, bitch. Like, it's gone. Like, I hope those people got some sort of check. I don't know. I don't know how contracts work, but 
the studio that even made this is fucking gone. 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 So, obviously, there was a lot of financial strains that a whole company is now gone. So, the movie comes out. I seen one article that says it was boring. It was probably like hateration. Honestly, like I don't care if it's a good movie or not. The only thing that like I'm impressed with is that the people that really, really bitched and really, really complained, um, the influencers, I feel like it's the reason why this movie was so fucking successful, especially with the gaming community, because they're like, look, we did all these bitching, we did all this complaining, a whole studio is gone because of a, like, we didn't help the situation, whole studio is fucking gone, and we need to go see this movie. And I haven't heard anything bad, I've heard a lot of people say they enjoyed it, I heard something about the end, this is not a spoiler, that they are planning to make more Sonic uh, Sonic Universe's material. I don't know what they showed to suggest that, but there's going to be it's it's going to be a franchise. So, you see right here the article breaks record for a video game debut. It pulled in more than Detective Pikachu despite its early issues. Now, let's look at the number. So, the budget went up to $90 million because they had, I forgot the exact amount. I don't think they have it here. Um, but it was millions and millions of dollars more. They had to add millions to the budget to fix it. So it wasn't like a $200 fix or a million dollar fix. Like I think it was like $20 million or something. Like don't quote me. And this is the thing. So Paranaut's adaption just broke the record for video game movie three-day opening in the United States. So this is the United States. This is not worldwide. This is just in the United States. It made 57. Detective Pikachu made 54.3. Estimates have Sonic raking in 68 million over four days. So that's um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay worldwide um <clears throat> the flick has earned about a hundred million dollars so at this point you guys they have passed budget or the cost the cost they're saying was 90 million they just made 100 million and it's only been one weekend so um paramount's gonna make their money back it's gonna make its money back and this is what's very interesting about the story this story proves with and I don't and I and I need people to listen with what I'm about to say and not make this a political thing or a sexist thing or a female thing. I just need you all to listen. Listen, Linda. With birds of a prey, no one not a lot of people like Suicide Squad, not a lot of people like Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. And what did you fuckers do? You put them both back to do birds of a prey. You continue the Suicide Squad and put her back. And it's not doing well. It's flopping. Okay? Star Wars. We told you. We do not like this. What did you do? You came back with the same bullshit in the third, um, <clears throat> in the final movie. And it took a month for it to hit a billion dollars, which is unacceptable for a final movie of a Star Wars. What the fuck? So we have two prime examples of movies. Of, of Hollywood saying. We're not listening to the fans. You don't know what you're talking about. Except our bullshit. We have two prime examples. Very very recent. Of studios saying. Fuck the fans. We're going to do what we want to do. And Paramount was like. No. We hear what you're saying. We want you to like this. We want this to continue. We made a huge investment with this. We fucked up. It is our fault and our fault alone. And we're going to fix it. And guess what the fuck happened? They fixed it and it's successful. So for that Paramount, good for you.